greetings from Chateau Biparb. Um, we start our our short video with, with, with looking at the vineyards. Eh? Let me explain you a little bit the vineyard. So we are located in Côte de Bouc, which is a small appellation on, on right bank of Bordeaux. We are practically organic, so we are HVE, so high value environmental value certified. We grow four different grapes, Merlot dominant, Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec and Cabernet Franc. We are located in one of the highest locations in Gothenburg, high up on the hill, of our 41 hectares of vineyards, over 35 are south sloping, allowing us to, to, to pick the grapes at their, their, their optimal ripeness. Although it's a foggy day today, I'll show you a little bit of the, of the vineyards and grapes. So these are Merlots, approximately 27 years old. Um, this, this, this vineyard will will be constituent to Le Roque and Gaia, Gaia blends. It's a foggy day, so you can't see perfectly. These grapes will be harvested tomorrow night. Thank you. And maybe a few words about the 2016 vintage. The winter was warm and rainy. We had a very early bud burst in mid of March. The spring was warm and rainy. We got rain 62% more than usual, which then build up the water reserves on the on the on the limestone stone that then actually helped during during the hot summer the summer months june and july extremely hot uh, we had very good august and september which means we had high variations in the day and night so cool nights warm days resulting in a perfect ripeness of the grapes. And now we are in the fermentation area of, of, of our cellar. Uh, you see them it's middle of the action so we have pumping over going on for the for the for the reds for the 2020 vintage so you get the glimpse how we do the wine. Here are the pumping overs going down. We ferment our wines in relatively low temperatures meaning for Gaia we ferment it in 24 Celsius for La Rock 25-26 which is six to seven degrees cooler temperatures than a typical Bordeaux. Why we do this is we want to save all the fruity and berry aromas of the wine. So we ourselves we like fruity wine. So now we are in our barrel cellar so this is the place where we age our wines. We buy our barrels, we use two different sizes, the traditional 225 and the 300 liter barrels. We buy our barrels from three various coopers uh, and we use three various, various roast degrees on our barrels. This is simply to avoid the fact that each of the wine coopers use their own oak wood and each oak, for, oak forest have a certain note profile on the oak wood and that impacts the wine. For La Rock, we typically age it between 10 to 14 months. The 2016 vintage spent exactly one year in the barrel. Gaia, we typically do not put in the barrel just to focus on the fruity and berry notes of that wine. And finally, we come to the stage of, of tasting Gaia and Le Roque 16. Um, Gaia first. So the blending Gaia is 88% Merlot, 8% Cabernet Sauvignon, and a little bit of Cabernet Franc and Malbec grapes. We produce Gaia in relatively low temperatures, so the fer fermentation is in 24 degrees, and this is to keep the fruity aromas. We integrate a little bit of oak with the grapes, so we use the same oak staves on, from day one on as, as we would buy the barrels from. Gaia 16 is a good rep representation of its, of its vintage. It won gold medals in both Bordeaux and, and Lyon, Lyon international competitions. And it is, how would I say, our non-oaked fruity wine. So let's taste it. Oh, the nose, the color. It's, I would say the color is, is moderately intense ruby. The nose is charming.
ripe black currant comes through. A little bit of coffee and dark cacao, grilled capsicum, and uh, yes, a slight, slight taste of white, white pepper. Let's taste it then. It's a medium poly body palate, palate, delicate, it's round, good mouthfeel, fine, fine tannins, and I would say a medium, medium length in the finish. This wine we typically ourselves eat with, with white meats, grilled meats, rich salads, various vegetarian dishes, and roasted duck. Let's switch on to, to Le Roc. Le Roc 16, so the same vintage. It's basically pure Merlot, 96% Merlot and a little bit of Cabernet Franc and Malbec. This wine was rated 91 points from wine enthusiast, 90 points from decanter and won gold medals both in Bordeaux and Lyon. So it, it's a it's it got some good good awards. The color is deep deep red ruby. Nose is plum oak nose even leather. You know, it's a good nose. Oh, it's typical, very good Merlot. It's long, has good layers of tannins, long finish, and it's very similar to the nose. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's good to be drunk now. Thank you.